Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And welcome to episode zero of Inner Woods. If you missed the last episode of our short survival series, you might have missed that we're moving on to a new long form Cataclysm series. All of our Cataclysm characters that had survived their short survival scenarios were placed into a pool of which you all, the Legion, were able to vote on who would be moving forwards into this new challenge. It was a close call between Hilma, Baron, and JC Cruz, but Hilma won out at the end of the day. Now, in the first episode of this series, we're going to be going over the lore of this series a little bit more. But today is a chance to introduce you to the setup of this. It's not something that I always do for Cataclysm, but I imagine this is the kind of scenario in which many of you will want to join in. And so, the world in which we are playing is called Dawn. And we're going to go through each of the mods in this mod pack so we can see exactly what they are going to do for us. So of course we have the Cataclysm core pack, the total conversion that we are using for this, and the one that gives us the name of the series is Inner Wood. Inner Wood has been around for a fair while. I haven't had a chance to really touch it though, but as we can see, we find ourselves in an untouched land that mankind is yet to reach. This disables most traces of civilization for that Inner Wood experience. And it does recommend us having the size of cities set to zero. An important thing for this challenge going forwards. Now, this is where things get a little spicy. Under creature mods, we have the dino mod. This adds dinosaurs, some rideable, others less friendly. Life will find a way. Yes, as poor Hilma Baron hasn't just been moved through space, she has also been moved through time again. More on that in episode one. Under our graphical mods here, we have two for the Undead People tile set, which is the tile set that I'm using for this series. If you'd like the link to that tile set, the latest version of that can be found in the description below. But of course, we have the Dino Mod expanded pack for that and the graphical overmap, which is how our map looks different. And as you can see from the rest of the mods here, we don't have much else that really changes things. We have a hair mod, well, two hair mods. This one here adds some tattoos and stuff like that. We won't be seeing that on Hilma. But our rebalancing mod down here, stats through skills, is something that I have always played with. I feel like progression is incredibly important in Cataclysm. And as your skills start to improve, I'm of the belief that that should affect your stats as well. The more fighting you're doing, the stronger you're going to become, etc, etc. Now those are the mods that we are playing with. Over in the world options, we can see how things are a little bit different here. Really, not that much has changed. The size of cities is down to zero though. So, no cities whatsoever. At least, that's the plan. Things don't always go according to plan, but that's what we're aiming for here, an untouched wilderness. Everything else is effectively untouched here, as we can kind of go down along. The only thing that I've changed is the season length. Usually. I have it set on 14. The default is 91, which is a fairly long season, but I feel like a healthy in-between is 30. There will be many days spent just crafting and waiting, but I feel like going with 91 days, it means that we'll really only ever see one season with Hilma, if we're lucky. So I feel like 30 is a good medium for us, and it does kind of fit in with this world being slightly different than what we're used to. One thing that I would recommend changing for your own home games is the construction scaling here. I'd recommend lowering it, as it says 50 is two times faster than default. The rest of our options are the same here, other than wandering hordes, which I have active for this world. So too much noise, and we might steer up some unwelcomed visitors. We'll see if that affects us at all, because of course, there are bloody dinosaurs in this world. And so, that is our world. Now, let's take a look at Hilma. As we can see, all of Hilma's stats are the same as they were previously. She is still a helicopter pilot, and I've tried to transfer over some of the skills that she'd already been learning as we've been playing. And if you'd like to recreate Hilma, this is everything that you will need. Now, 
just so that we don't have to go over it in the next episode here, we will jump in quickly and have a look at these traits and see exactly what they are going to do for us. First of all, we have Accomplished Sleeper, which means that we have always been able to sleep easily even in less than ideal circumstances, which in this case I feel like could help us out quite a bit because sleeping is going to be very hard to do, especially if we are cold. She also has an exceptional memory, meaning that she finds it super easy to remember things. Our skills will erode slightly slower than usual and we can remember more terrain so that we don't lose track of our surroundings and we're not always going to be able to try and improve skills so being able to hold on to them for that little bit longer so that we can maybe get a level up is going to be, yeah. Great. Pack Mule is going to make a big difference for us. We can pack things more efficiently and we can retrieve things from containers 10% faster. We aren't going to have any means of carrying things for a while. So once we actually do get that, this is going to allow us to carry just that much more, which I am hyped about. We of course have robust genetics, meaning that we have that very strong genetic base, which is maybe why Hilna was selected for observation. But yes, the chances of us actually mutating in this series are quite low, unless we are exposed to radiation, which is possible in the natural world. So. We will see. And finally, our last positive trait we have is a weak scent, meaning that animals that track our scent will do so with more difficulty. Super good being out in the wild and having it be harder for things to follow us. Jumping across to our negative traits, we only have one negative and it's pacifist, which is quite a big negative, meaning that Hilma doesn't like thinking about violence and that her combat skills will advance much slower than usual and she's going to feel guilty whenever she does need to kill. I imagine that is also going to apply to animals, so when it comes to hunting, yeah, I guess we'll see where that takes us. She already has pretty good skills though. Having a look at her melee skills, she has a 4 in dodging, a 5 in melee, which is just really good in general when it comes to melee. So maybe she hasn't always been a pacifist. This is something that could have happened post Cataclysm or even before then. She is a rescue helicopter pilot. I think there's a strong possibility that Hilma perhaps served in the military, but decided that her piloting skills would serve her better in the search and rescue sector. So while she does know how to shoot a gun and how to hit someone pretty hard, she really doesn't care for it. She does also have a six in tailoring, meaning that we're going to have lots of options open to us when it comes to crafting clothing. However, crafting clothing out in the wild is going to be very, very difficult for us to do. Well, just about everything is going to be very difficult for us to do. And then finally, having a look at our stats here, we can see that she really is not all that strong. And I think that kind of comes back to her being emaciated during her stint at that Migo camp. It was winter back then, so a few hard winters will do that to you. She does have okay dexterity, her intelligence is all right, but her perception is what's pretty strong. And so, that is Hilma Baron. And that is our setup for Inner Woods. I can't wait to get started. Episode 1 is up right now. I hope you enjoy. We have quite the test ahead of us. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.